name is Tracy. I'm with Tracy's Fancy in San Antonio, Texas, and I am a furniture painter, artist, blogger, wall muralist. <laughs> hey guys, hi. It's very quiet in this house. Super, super quiet. I'm just gonna keep painting. It's a baby nursery um, here for um, a young girl that lives here in town and her mom asked me to come paint some cactuses on their wall. So it's going in a very neutral boho cactus room. So I thought I would just turn the camera on and I'm gonna keep busy. Um, maybe I will inspire somebody <laughs> to go paint on a wall. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of it lately. <laughs> All right. Got my little spray jar. I kind of wet the wall down just a little bit because we want kind of a, a watercolor look. It's so easy, you guys. It's like doodling. It's, it's just like doodling. These leaves have little circles in them, so I just I just use this little brush like this with some white fluff and just spin it in circles. Nothing perfect. Here's some that I've already painted. And it's gonna wrap, um, it's wrapping around that other wall too. When you spray the water on first, it makes it really easy to fill in in between and it gives you a, um, a real watercolor look. Not a dry brush look. There's a difference between that dry brush look where it looks kind of like it was dry. Um, when you add the water, they all start to kind of blend together and it doesn't look streaky. Um, it looks like it has kind of a flow. I guess cactuses are the thing right now. Okay, let's do this other big boy. I'm going to do this, um, I'm going to do this big one. It's a big fat one. So I'm going to wet it first. And I like it to be dark on the outside edge. So I kind of do my outline first. Um, but these are all in evergreen. So I'm doing my outside edge. Wow. Just like that. I didn't have quite enough on my brush and not quite enough water. But this was a big one. A little bit more water on there. And then I just want to keep working this edge. I don't want the edge to look um, hard. So I just kind of keep spraying it with water and bringing it in towards the middle a little bit. I wanna keep it moist, keep this whole center wet. So I think I'm gonna switch brushes now to a little bit bigger brush. And this one is gonna have uh, some obvious streaks in it on purpose because I want it to look kind of ridgy, like it's got ridges. I pick up my smaller brush. I use this brush all the time. It's just a a one inch artist brush. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see how it's kind of streaky? I didn't do that, but no, I have no, no projector here. Sometimes I do use a projector um, on big murals um, that are super complicated, or especially if it's like someone's logo or branding of some sort, um, it's just easier to use. But when it's something really free like this, especially the cactus, I mean, it's like drawing a bunch of snowmen in different shapes and sizes. Got some water dripping down on her baseboard. Paper towel. It's chalk paint though, so you know what? It'll just, it comes right off. How about spraying water by the electrical socket? So far, I've only used two colors. I'm using Dixie Belle. This is evergreen, very watered down. This is what it looks like. And then I've added a little bit of fluff to some of them as accents. And then I'm gonna be doing collard greens. There's two very tall skinny ones here and some other ones over on the other side. And I'll be adding collard green to that, which is a super, super, just like collard greens, like cooked collard greens. When you cook them and they're super dark. Okay, see how it's super dark right there? I don't want that. So I take my sprayer and I just spray it with some water. 
and that way I can smear it out and the paint starts to, the minerals and the chalk and the paint start to loosen up and um, kind of liquefy almost and I can just really spread it out. It's like watercolor. Like, I don't know how many of you have seen me do the watercolor or the mermaid chairs with watercolor. This paint's amazing to do like that. When you draw these, they look kind of like little aliens. They look like little gremlins. The ones with the pointy ears. And I was like, I feel like I'm drawing a gremlin. Oh, that one's dripping. You know, you gotta control. If you're using water, that's the only thing is you have to control your drip or you end up making something super abstract. <laughs> you're like, oh, what am I gonna do with that big drip? Actually, if I had baby wipes, that's one really good thing about baby wipes and chalk paint. Baby wipes will take it right off. Don't you think this looks like a gremlin ear? Don't you think? This, this is gonna be fun. This is a bunch of, um, a bunch of circles, but I wanna do them lighter. So let's see what farmhouse green looks like with it. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna mix a little bit of farmhouse with um, just a touch on my brush of the uh, evergreen in it. So it'll be two different, kind of a mix of two different greens. I just put a little dot of the green, see how it's both colors on one. Make sure you guys, most of you already are, but make sure that you go to my website at tracysfancy.com and fill out the little box that you get my weekly newsletters. Every Sunday, I send out an email of whatever I've done that week, and it's a full blog, a project. It tells you everything I've done. I've got some tall, skinny soldiers back here. I think I'm gonna do those in evergreen. So let's move over to this big, fat grandpa boy over here. This one is a big, fat boy, and it's gonna have a lot of spikes on it. Okay, so watch this, watch this. This is kind of like a when it looks dry brushed, like that, can you see that? That, see how it looks dry brushed? I don't like that. So we're gonna go for that, look at all. We're spraying it with water, and then when you paint, you see the difference? It's like nice and fluid. It has like a real fluid look to it. So now I'm gonna take my brush and kind of turn it sideways. If you kind of use it as a scraper, it brings some dark all in one line. See how I made that dark line? See like right here, let's see if I can make another one. See that? If you kind of push it over. Now this one is a definitely, it's gonna have spikes and it's also gonna have some black lines in it. Let's see that up close. So far. So one last look. Here, over my head. I like to do it where y'all can see. Over my head. Cute, huh? It goes around the corner. Yay! <laughs> hey guys, thank you. And uh, make sure that you go sign up for my blog on tracysfancy.com so you will get a newsletter on Sunday. Thanks you guys so much. I'll talk to y'all soon.